uh, throwing away leads, don't they, the Mariners? Maybe uh, a long bow to draw. The scoreline still at 3-1. Well, what they've done in the second half, they've, they've taken the foot off the pedal. What that means is, of course, in the tempo of the game, the intensity hasn't been there in the second half. Will this now raise it? Well, one more goal will surely kill it off, and they've got it! What a super finish by Matt Osman! Perth's moment of joy was literally that, just a moment. Well, it's a mistake, it's a slip on the left-hand side. I think it's Sekolovsky. Pekovic, it was certainly a lot of venom in the strike from Matthew Osmond, but little one-two. Here's the slip from Sekolovsky. Toe poke there from Matthew Osmond to Matt Simon. Perfect return ball. Little wall pass, one-two, Sekolovsky. There's his slip. Nice technique from Osmond. And it goes underneath Pekovic. A lot of power in that. Osmond's free kick. Goes back post. Smelts has made the run. The header across the goal. Wonderful shape, Smelts. Too deep. Sat back into his his own back four. There's a wonderful pass from Kalina. It's the best chance they had. The goal coast as Matthew Osmond comes on, takes on his defender Lockhead. Good save from Paston. One you'd expect him to make, but good save nonetheless. But it certainly has been a frustrating half for Gold Coast. They're going to need to do a lot better. It was an interesting match because we know Branko Kalina had many of his first team players out. So an advantage here to the Central Coast Mariners. Yeah, I, th look, I think that's right what you say. But don't forget that uh, you know a lot of the teams have players out as well. OK, they're depleted but again well. We talked about their good recruitment you know, only a couple of weeks ago with Alex Tobin. And... Yeah, you talk about the strength of this league now.